I love vlog. How is everyone doing? I feel like I'm still recovering from my cold. In case you couldn't tell, I'm super sick and this has been my savior. I mean, these and my lamp sip. So good. Okay, cheers. To my health. <laughs> And my voice is still kind of funky, so please, 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 please ignore that. Like, literally, let's pretend my voice is normal. Today's vlog is gonna be quite exciting. We're going to BMM again because I got a Christmas tree the other day and I need to get some ornaments to put on the tree. It is December the 5th as I'm filming this, so I really, really hope they still have some in the shop. I mean, thing across people didn't buy all of them yet but yeah we'll see what i can find talking about my christmas tree actually you guys know that i wanted to get a real christmas tree this year but the thing with me is that i am a perfectionist i could you know i did not like all the trees that we saw and that made me so sad also we do have a small place and the trees that I did like were too big for the place. So to cut a long story short, we went to this gardening center to check some more trees and they have an indoor section as well. And I saw these fake tree that looked so real and so good, but the tree wasn't in stock at the stores. And so we ended up ordering a line and it came yesterday. Oh my God, look what just arrived. I'm literally so excited for this. All right. Oh, this space is very heavy. What the heck? So, yeah, I got a tree. I'm still not loving it 100%. And I think it's because I need to fluff it a bit more. I'm definitely so bad at fluffing tree, I just realized. But I also think it's because there's no decoration at the moment whatsoever. And bear in mind, it's a pre-lit Christmas tree, but I feel like it needs more lights. So today we're gonna get decorations, we're gonna get lights, we're gonna get, I know, some other Christmassy beats that I like. Oh, and also need to get a garland. Like, I want to get a garland so bad. One of the flats in the outside corridor already put their garland on. We definitely need to get that sorted. One more thing before we finish to get ready and go. I got this parcel from Stradivarius and I thought I could open it with you guys. I finally ordered the jacket that I said in my Black Friday vlog that I wanted to get. I waited for it to go on sale, it never really went on sale. There were no coupon codes that I could add either, so I was like, you know what? I'm just get the fucking jacket. It's gonna be worth it. So let's unbox this together, shall we? I'm so excited. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Here she is in all her glory. I ended up getting a medium because I thought with jumpers and stuff it would look better. But let me put this on, shall we? You guys, this looks so good. I am so obsessed with it. I'm literally wearing it with just a t-shirt and I feel super cozy and warm. It looks so good. I can't. I'm so glad I got it. One thing I didn't notice though and I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not. It's that uh, it's definitely leaving fluff everywhere, which is probably because it's super new. No one really tried this on, but I'm wearing a black t-shirt, as you can see, and it literally has fluff everywhere. So, yeah, um, that's not super great, but the jacket itself, love it. Really wish I could find a coupon code for it. I literally even downloaded their app to get 10%, but apparently that deal is not available in the UK. Which makes zero sense, so I had to spend £65 to get this bad boy, but I really like it, so it's all good. I mean, it's also been kind of cold in London recently, so I think this jacket is a good investment, that's for sure. Okay, so these I find so shady. I mean, naturally, I had to peel it off. So that jacket was 59.99 euro, which should be around like 55 pounds, definitely not 65. And that is something that I did notice a lot of shop doing. And I could you not, I'm literally so pissed. 
like Zara is doing it as well it's like euro is less valuable than pound so something that is originally 55 euros should be less in pound no more like I'm literally so pissed I could have gone to Italy get that jacket and it would be so much cheaper like why are brand doing this if you know like the reason if you know anything more about this just let me know in the comments like that is absurd I could be wrong but I think the only shop who actually does a fair comparison in price is Bershka actually I'm pretty sure that's the one because I got this belt in both Italy and the UK in Italy it was 10 euros in the UK I got it for seven pounds so yeah that is so shady oh my god on a more light note, I just realized I haven't opened my oven calendar today. This is the oven calendar my boyfriend got me this year from Water Drop. I think I actually filmed us swapping oven calendar, so I'm gonna pop the footage in here. So these have been chilling here for a while. I think it's finally time to open them up. Are you ready? Let's go. This thing won't shut up. Do we open it? See, bro, the shock is fun. Like it's too tedious. It's like. See my fiocchi, si fanno Ma non è un fiocco! Non lo vedo! Oh, aspetti, non ho ancora visto! Però non è una è una funzione scamata subito! Ma non ci devi messo a vedere il mio corso! Non mi sono messo a vedere! Non mi sono messo a vedere! Non ci ho preso! Oh mio dio, è gigante! I haven't looked through the footage yet, but I'm pretty sure I made a very ungrateful face when I opened my oven calendar and that's because I was picturing something else. I was picturing he giving me like a beauty oven calendar. Instead, I got given this one, which I still have mixed feelings about it so far. One day has been great, the other day has been not so great. They once started off strong with the cutest candle ever and then day two was a flop and so on. I'm actually quite curious to see what today one is gonna be like. Okay, day five, here we go. Ooh, what is it? <laughs> what is this? Okay, um not sure what this strap is for see that's the weird thing about this oven calendar and i'm hoping that once i open everything it will all make sense so on the third day of this oven calendar i got this one which is a lead for a water bottle but it's too big for the water bottles that i own and i'm like what do i need this for and now i got this thing and i'm like is this supposed to go in there but I think it's too small. I don't think it's gonna fit actually. <laughs> I'm so confused. I have to say though, the packaging is super cute. Like the outside of these really looks adorable. It's like mini gifts. I really feel like this year we have so many oven calendars. So we got these other two and me and my boyfriend are doing one time I get the chocolate, he gets the water drop and vice versa. And today I get to have the chocolate, so let's quickly open that as well. I mean, look how cute this is. And the best part is that I get to eat it, so cheers. Mm. So good. So I thought I'd give you guys a little OOTD before we head out. I'm wearing these distress sweater. I'm not sure where it's from other than my boyfriend's closet, but I literally been borrowing a lot. It doesn't wear it as much and so I think that's cool. Then my little belt, like I said, is from Bershka. My distress jeans are from Primark. I love these. They're literally so worn now though. I definitely need to get another pair. And then of course I'm wearing my Nike Air Force One. I'm gonna pop my jacket on and then we're off the door. I definitely did the right thing when sizing up, so just keep that in mind. Damon. So apparently it's raining outside. I mean I definitely need to bring my umbrella. Well, let's go. See, that's what I was talking about. 
not heavy rain but I thought I might as well open my umbrella also it literally looks like a clock inside it reminds me so much of midnight if you know you know we made it I knew this was gonna happen with the Christmas section in Super Pictoba also side note I want to get something like this for under my clothing rack I think this is too big I thought check the top section as well, but this is a pale. We're on to the next one. This is kind of cute, but I think I want to get a real one. Okay, so these are the garlands I have, but I'm not obsessed with them. I mean, they look okay, but I kind of want to get one of these. I feel like it's so annoying so you won't be able to hear anything. So, update. I saw the cutest bunny ever at Pet at Home. But BAQ was a fail. Literally, couldn't find a garland, couldn't find any ornaments for the trees, and it was just a flop overall. I just stopped for a McDonald's and then we're going to BMM. Cheers! I got the new Galaxy Caramel Pie. I tried it before and it's so good. Thing across, BMM is gonna do me better. These are actually kind of cute. How funny is that the first thing that I get they're not Christmas related whatsoever. Oh my god, the one we had broke and this is the last one. How perfect is that? Okay, so this is the only Christmas aisle that I have. Hopefully I'll find something here. I mean, it's the aisle number 10. This has to mean something. These are the only ornaments they have and they're silver and I hate that. So it's not even five yet and it's dark already. That is crazy but i just finished with bmm and i'll definitely show you guys everything once we get home but before then i have one more shop to go to so let's go of course i had to stop at the romanian store so it's actually been a minute since the last time you guys saw me i came back home and then i left again to buy another couple of bits i was hoping to find some more ornaments but i didn't really succeed it, although i will show you guys the couple of bits that i did end up getting so you guys saw me shopping at bmm so some of the things that i will show you you already saw but i did make sure not to show you guys everything so that i could still have a surprise element the first thing that i'm gonna show you are these luxury crackers this is how they look like check this out this looks so cute and i'm also super happy that i finally have them not gonna lie i was freaking out because i couldn't find ones that i like and these ones are actually pretty cute then moving on i got these mini candy canes this is a 30 pack why am i gonna use this for i don't know but they were too cute not to get it then next up i got two of these santa's reply letter i thought these were super cute and i'm definitely gonna use them for a gift and talking about gifts i also got this little bag i think this one is super cute it says have yourself a merry little christmas and i'm gonna put my boyfriend gift inside okay there's still so much stuff so let's do a little speed round for this 12 pack balloon assortment black hair Buster peel off mask. I got this as a stocking for my boyfriend. Foot warmers and warmers. Zapper patches. These are so good. Nozzle spray solution. BFP spoon for the kitchen. Then, last thing from BMM, I got this little gift set. So, this is how it looks like. It has a little hot water bottle then there's a mug and then there's some hot chocolate we're doing secret santa at my workplace and this is the gift that i will be giving the girl whose name i ended up getting i'm pretty sure she doesn't watch this my video but in case she does i'm not gonna say her name so this is everything that i ended up getting the first time around and then when i left to go to the shops i ended up getting a couple more bits First thing first, I think it's adorable. I'm super happy with it. This one was 10 pounds. I mean, I think it's super cute. Then I got this little Yankee candle. This one is Caramel Crunch. And let me tell ya, it smells super good. Oh my god, gotta love a good Yankee candle. These are the best. I got a couple of bits from Poundland. Again, I'm gonna do a speed round. So I got these fairy lights, these string lights 
cinnamon sticks. Then these two I end up getting from random shops that I found on the road. But I got some little bows. And then I got these bubbles. Then I got a few more things. The first one being these Lotus Biscoff. Then I got these gingerbread flavor toffee coated popcorn. I'm literally so excited to try these. I have a feeling I'm gonna like them. Oh, I actually forgot about this one. I got some more candles from Aldi. Oh, I might show you what I got from the Romanian shop. I'm not sure if you guys know this. Some of you probably do, but I feel like most of you don't. But my mom is Romanian, and so I'm half Italian, half Romanian, living in the UK. And usually, whenever I go to the Romanian shop, I talk in English. And this was the first time of me going there and talking in Romanian. Because I do know how to talk in Romanian, but I do get quite shy around Romanian people that I don't know. So... Yeah, I feel super proud of myself. Anyway, let me do a speed round of what I got. I got these chicken chips pufulets. These are a classic. And these are sweet pufulets. See, I've never tried them. And then I also got these guys. They were in the fridge, so I had to go and get them. I could you not. That Romanian ham reminds me so much of my childhood. It's genuinely crazy. And also the taste... Oh my god, it's superior. Before I go, I wanted to do a little taste test with you guys. Like I said, I never try these and I think we should do it together. They look very interesting. And they smell very fruity. Okay, let's just try one, shall we? Cheers! These are so weird. So this is not going to make sense if you're not Romanian and you never tried the Pufarini before, which is a Romanian cereal. But these, like the colorful coating, is literally the same of the Pufarini, like they taste the same. But once you eat it, you get the Pufulets sort of taste and consistency. They're so weird. They're just so weird. Whoa. The blue one has a coconutty flavor. These are so weird. I mean, I can't tell if I hate them or I like them, but... So, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do you stay tuned for my next one where we're gonna be decorating the tree and also wrapping all the Christmas presents I got people. I'm actually kind of excited to show you guys what I got my boyfriend. So, do stay tuned for that and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I just noticed we hit 800 subscribers, so that's great. Thank you so much. We're only 200 away from a thousand, which is the goal we need to reach. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to tell me in the comments below what was your favorite bit. And of course, if you like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. I will be going to more shops to see if they have any other Christmas decor because clearly I need some ornaments for my poor little tree. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I've never been this close to